So with the optics, I've got it attached at the front with the stabilizer, so I'll just release the front uh, stabilizer like that and unclip it with the quick release mechanism. And we've got the same quick release mechanism in here, so we can just put it in and twist it into place. And there we are. So we have transferred the uh, optics from the standard Puma stage to the CNC Puma stage. So I'll show you a quick demonstration. This is a script, interactive script I wrote, and this is very similar to the interactive preview where you can switch the histogram on and off by pressing the H key on the keyboard, as you can see here, and pressing the F will toggle the focus bar on and off. But now I've added these key options here. So if you hit the um, left and right angled bracket keys, I'll just put focus back in the uh, box there, it will move the motor. So watch this. And likewise for the V key and the hat key to move the Y axis and the plus and minus to move the Z. Now you may be wondering, why did I choose keys? Most of these keys need the shift key to be pressed. That's a bit awkward. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because I've made some improvements to the manual buttons here. I've added this checkbox. It says divert to script. If you click it, you see a red box appears around the buttons. And what that means is that any time you click a button, the symbol on that button will be automatically copy pasted into this entry box here, as if you had typed it from the keyboard. So now we can use the buttons to move the stage. Watch this. That's X, that's Y, and the focus. And look what happens to this focus assist bar as I move the focus. It goes right down because we're going blurred. Now we've gone past optimal focus there. So that's as good as I'm going to get it with this step size. Now I've hard coded into the script the step size for the focus and all the other buttons, but of course this can be managed programmatically as well.